Okay guys, so before we start this shadow caster guide, I would like to say that any build is fine and if that build's working for you, that's good. But I'm making this video for people who want to get back into shadow or starting shadow, first time shadow users and stuff like that and so on and so forth. But before we start the video, make sure you do subscribe. Only 1.7% of you are subscribed that watch my videos and the rest are not. So make sure you do do that and let's start the shadow caster guide. So when you're playing shadow, when you're a shadow caster, the first move you probably want to get if you're starting out as a shadow caster is to get dark blade. Now the reason why I say you want to get dark blade is because it's a really good move to engage and disengage because of its mobility and its hitbox. And what I what I mean by hitbox is that if you get one hit in, getting the other two hits in are easier because of some other talents that you can get later on that shadow has kind of like the blinding talent which makes their screen darker or the talent that makes their parry window more wider so that you don't have to worry about them parrying your move too quick the other move that you probably want to get and this is when you level up your shadow cast to a little higher level is shadow eruption shadow eruption is a really good move to use in mix-ups it stays there and lingers once you use it it's not like it's just the ability you use and it disappears it has a initial hit and then it has an after hit the initial hit is when it expands and the after hit is when it closes in and it can you can still get a proc of shadow on them two shadow caster talents that you want to get when leveling up is dark synergy and dark rift the reason why you want to get these two is because dark synergy engulfs you and your opponent in shadows which is like flourishing flame and things like that and sometimes can make them block breaked on nothing and i know it sounds confusing when i say that but there are some people when they flourish they like somehow combo to where they can be flourished into the wall instead of a building and they can continue uh, m one off of there and flourishing again and again and again. I don't know if they fixed that yet, but uh, I probably will have to go test that out. And the second one is Dark Rift, and you definitely want this because when you dodge a move, it puts you in like a um, Dark Rift, like its name, and it will give you iframes for the duration that you are in that animation for. Shadow casting does not do a lot of damage, and the reason why it doesn't do much damage is because the main goal of shadow is to steal ether. Now it can be paired up with gems, lidless, and blue, so that you'll be either stealing health and ether, or saving ether so that you'll be able to spam other abilities more often. Now, as a shadow caster, I don't really use as much gems on my abilities, and that's because they already have the property to steal ether. But you can literally pair up shadow casting with anything. It won't be like a bad investment like wind gem and bless gem it'll just make your abilities off cooldown more often or it'll just make it more useful like the shadow war bloodless gem combo is really really good within a team fight shadow caster is not really a solo type mantra it's mainly for team fights and crowd control that's why all of its moves and abilities are usually geared towards mul like fighting multiple people instead of just soloing like uh, on ice or wind. It's more of a team player, team fight type of mantra that you want to be using mainly to get hordes of people or hordes of mobs so that you'll be able to get as much ether stolen or health regen. The best weapons to use with Shadowcaster is heavy and medium. Medium will probably be one of like the, the, the equilibrium with all these mantras because like it's kind of the most balanced or it's the most 50-50 between all the weapons. But the reason why you want to do heavy is because once you steal their ether, they won't have any ability to spam on you. It'll just be an M1 trade. And since heavy has a lot of posture to give to somebody who's trying to block their moves it'll be really easy to get hits in because they won't have any abilities to counteract you using your heavy medium is sort of like i said before it's the same thing it's a equal it's a 50 50 you can do a lot of posture damage if you have murmur as well murmur helps any shadow caster it helps anybody but mainly it helps shadow casters because of the ether stolen and it can help you do more damage upon using your ability if you did find this guide helpful make sure you do subscribe like i said in the beginning like the video if you found it helpful and comment down below if i missed anything share this video for anyone who needs tips and tricks on shadow and have a nice day guys and see you in the next video